Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Kuromon Market in Osaka. This is one of the more vibrant markets, not too far away from Dotonbori and Namba, about a 10 minute walk. And a lot of people, especially uh, guidebooks, will say that this market is incredible because it's, it feels like locals still shop here. And we're gonna find out in this live stream if that's true and explore and discover some of the things that are inside. This is one of the entrances that you can go to when you come here. There's a pet shop right at the, the beginning of it. Look at these little doggies. Reminds me of Kuro, uh, who we saw last night. Koro-san, Koro-chan. How you doing? Uh, so, the, uh, Kuro Market, Ku, Kuromo Market is named Kuromon because Kuro means black, Mon means gate, and I believe the temple that was in this area burned down in 1912, so yeah, black gate. But there's a lot of stuff here. I've walked all through this market. I've been here a couple of times over the years, and uh, it's changed a lot. Like everything in Osaka, it's changed a lot. There's loads and loads of street food that you can eat here. This is one of the side streets that goes into the market. But when we get to the center of this, you're going to see there's a ton of people. On the way there, yeah, you see, like, this used to be a butcher shop, right? But the butcher shop has turned it into to serving meat to, to tourists. And I, I guess it was a better plan. Whenever they write it in English, I get worried. That's, <laughs> but he'll cook it right in front of you for a pretty reasonable price. Hey, <laughs> konnichiwa. Yeah, so they got all different kinds of cuts. It's hard not, it's hard not to love Osaka. Photo bombed in the first five minutes. The, also very famous in this area is fugu. In the winter, fugu. And in the summer, I believe it's hamo. There, there's some other fishes that are popular. But in winter, it's fugu season, and you're gonna see that all over the market as well. Fugu being sold. You can eat it here in the market too. Look at that. Stuffed fugu. Fugu is puffer fish. It's a, um, oh, you can even dress up in kimono and walk around the market, which is weird because it's not so clean in here. But anyways. <laughs> You'll find all sorts of different kinds of foods. There's some tonyu or soy milk. How much is that for? Oh, it's 200 yen for a glass of it. Fresh tonyu, and they make it here in the shop. Looks like a family-run business for a long time, since, uh, what, 80 years? Looks like an old shop. Even in the back there, they're making tonyu. Oh, she's got a bag of the tonyu right now. Tonyu is soy milk. She's putting that into the tank. Interesting. And then she's released it into the tank. I should try it. Soy milk is pretty good. All right, let's try some soy milk. I haven't had breakfast yet, so this would be really good. Oh, I only have I only have 10,000 yen notes. That's not going to be that's not going to make anybody happy in a market. All right, hold on a second. I only got ichi my yen. Oh my god. Uh, we can ask. Uh, no, I got some coins. Saved. Saved. I can't give her a 10,000 yen note. That would be so rude. Like a $100 bill for a $2 drink. All right. Just in here. Ah, sumasen. Check that out. So they're gonna be mixing it up here. Oh. Ah, so ima no mimasu. Ah, kono mama. Ah, ah, hi. Ten nihakuen. Hi. Wow. Hi, arigatou gozaimasu. Wow, that's interesting. It came in like a mayonnaise jar. It looks like mayonnaise, but... 
Let's try it. Let's have some tone you. Um, I have a, in, in an episode called Why Do Japanese Live So Long, uh, I, I spent two, two early mornings with my friend, friend Yo there and his grandson um, Bunkichi and we were making tofu in the morning from like 4.30 in the morning. Um, it was pretty amazing. So I know that the process takes a lot of time. So soy milk is a kind of a product of that. You squeeze it out and you can kind of drink it. So this is what this is. Let's try it right here. But first, I just wanted to show you here. We're at the intersection of Kuromo Market. So I'm just going to show you up here on the ceiling. It looks so retro. I love that. That'd be funny if she did give me some mayonnaise. Dark on dark fire writes in it. That'd be funny if it was some mayonnaise that she gave it to you. That's the thumbnail right there. This is the, the main uh, north-south route through Kuromo Market. Most of the people here at this time of day, usually everyone is shopping. They've already shopped in the, by morning. So most people that are here are tourists. So if, if you want to come for the local experience, you probably want to come between 9 a.m. when it opens and uh, maybe before lunch. 9 to 11, most of the stuff. Here's another entrance. You can see there's a big fish up on the roof there. All right, let's try this here because I'm, I'm really curious and it's cold. She asked me if, if I wanted to heat it up, and I'm like, nah, I like my tone you cold. Should've gotten it heated, maybe. Oh, wow. All right, it, it's not mayonnaise. I, I can smell it already. It's not mayonnaise. That's thick. That's like drinking tofu. It's so thick. It's naturally sweet. Right, I'm gonna close this up and save it for the Shinkansen ride back. That was really good. That's really good. All right, let's let's go in deep into Kuromo Market now. It's tonyu, which is soy milk. Oh, made uh, homemade right there. I guess it's store made, but. You'll see stuff like vegetables and fish. But the market's changed a lot. This used to be a place where they didn't serve ice cream and stuff like this. They're, they're catering specifically to tourists now. And I don't blame them because with the population shrinking, this is a uh, green tea and strawberry ice cream. With the population shrinking, you really don't have too much choice. There's some uh, overpriced uh, daifuku. It's Ichigo Daifuku. There's custard cream inside of there. I'm gonna skip that. That's way, way, way overpriced. Oh, low torch. So he's taken the scallop or hotate, cut it up and then put it back in the shell and now he's marinating it and cooking it on the grill with a blow torch. It's uh, about six dollars for one. A little pricey but it's a good experience I guess you can tell that the it's they're ready for the tourists here eight for 500 yen is pretty pricey too for takoyaki so I think around the intersection here you might want to just stay away from there and go deeper into the market but where Kevin Riley lives Teradacho it's a lot more local all right I like that area a lot and you get, you get to feel Osaka more. Osaka's a little rough around the edges. It's got character in the streets. Check out these white carrots. I don't even know if they're called carrots, but uh, they sell these red and red carrots at New Year's as well. I don't know if they're coloring in it or what, but I'm sure there's a story behind it. Oh, the dessert strawberries are here. Check this out. They've got all kinds of strawberries. They've mixed this with red and white from Nara. It smells so good. It's $30 for that pack. That's so much cheaper than in Osaka, uh, than in Tokyo. And then here's a, a pack of white strawberries. These are the Yamato Heiguri Strawberry. And um, these are from Nara Prefecture as well. 
these are pink ones. These pink strawberries are from Nara too. So interesting. So there's a lot of different colors of strawberries. You have red, pink, white. The white ones, um, I made a video on it. They're very prized here in Japan. You can even get you can even get little teeny carts of it. These are half off. That's half price. That that sticker means hangaku, half price. Wow. Makes me almost want to pick it up, but seven dollars for a bunch of strawberries. I don't know. What do you guys think? Brendan Walker. I'm so glad you visited Kuro, uh, Kuromo Market. This is my, my favorite spot in Osaka. When my wife and I visited last month, buy some delicious street food on me. Thank you, Brendan. I think I will now. This will be my breakfast because I woke up at 11 because I was up so late with the midnight midnight snack run. <laughs> Much appreciated. It's going to be fun walking through here. If, if there's something you want me to show, let me know and I will go in that direction. Guys, if you like the market walks, if you like seeing markets, give me a thumbs up. Wow, the strawberry on sticks, daifuku. Daifuku seems to be a big deal here. All right, this is nice. I like seeing this. This is all the way from, um, whoa, Meiji 38. That is old. This is from uh, over 100 years, this shop. Do you see what they have? Whoa. They're selling fugu right there. That's a puffer fish with a Christmas hat. I've never seen that before. That Fugu has a Christmas hat on. I'm just staring at it in disbelief. I've never seen a puffer fish Fugu with in the Christmas spirit. That's so awesome. And it looks like a shark over there. Wow. No, that's not a shark, but it kind of has the Christmas spirit too. Fugger is puffer fish, and you can see that's uh, it's a beautiful specimen. I'll be back. That should be the thumbnail right there. <laughs> like, what? Puffer fish is um, very delicious. Oh, she's cutting something up there. It looks like tamagoyaki. Oh, yes. She just made, she just made a... Um, a log of tamagoyaki. This is a grilled egg. In Japan, they put a lot of stuff in it. It's so soft. It's so soft. There's unagi and fish here. Wow, you can get an unagi with tamagoyaki for 500 yen, but um, the unagi is not from Japan. That's the problem. And the unagi is from, from China. And uh, there's nothing wrong with it, I guess, but it's just, I don't, I had an allergic reaction to the Yunagi. They put some antibiotics too much in the water. It's not good for you. Right, but I will be getting some snacks. Let's just, let's have a good look-see. Look-see around a little bit. Wow. That looks delicious. So it's just sauce on top of sweet potatoes and it makes it look really delicious. It smells wonderful. Look at these sticks of strawberries. They have different colors to them. get on a stick with every shade of red. If you're looking for it, it's probably here. A lot of people call Kuromo Market as the uh, kitchen of Osaka because this is where people will buy stuff for their kitchen. And Osaka is the kitchen of Japan. They call that too because they have some really amazing food here. Um, all the produce from around Japan, Osaka is pretty much in the center uh, from Shikoku and uh, Kyushu. Everything comes sort of through here. Has to, it has to come through here in order to get to Tokyo. It's closer. <laughs> so Osaka gets some really good food. And then, because
because there's a lot of people in Osaka, of course they're gonna be selling that. I'm gonna take a look at the crabs here, but it's just amazing to me. They do a roaring business selling strawberries and the people buying them are mostly tourists from China. The prices are really cheap for these. There's the white pearl. These are strawberries that I, I featured that were really expensive and they've gone down in price. So yeah, I think I might get something for Kanai. That's a great idea. She's on her last day working before the holidays. That's why she couldn't come with me today. Those are some big, big crabs. Look at this crab, sh crab stand here. Some really big legs. That's some um, 12,000 yen or 100, over $100 for those right there. So, looks good. The problem with that, with all the tourists though, I, I just don't know what's authentic and not. It's hard to know without coming with someone who's a seafood specialist, if it's any good. Then you have the sea urchins right there in the shell still. And I guess if you order them, they take it out. You can eat it as sashimi. Christmas cake right in the front, lots of strawberries. It's dessert strawberry season, so you're gonna have some amazing strawberries right now out in the markets. A butcher shop, loads of butcher shops here. Um, I like to see the history of them. This is Kudomon, uh, what does it say? It's family run shop since 1930. Whoa, some good cut steaks there. This is uh, Mano from 1930. But wow, there are a lot of tourists here. I'm the king of puffer fish. My name is is tiger puffer fish. It's called Torafugu in Japan. And you can try a plate of it already prepared for 1,000 yen. That's pretty smart to put that out there. And you can get puffer fi fish paraphernalia, like this stuffed animal, and with this hat. <laughs> That's cute. And they have here puffer fish miso soup. Very nice. What? That's new. Kit Kat Daifuku flavored Kit Kats. I've never seen that before. This, this must be brand new. I guess it's famous from this area. I don't know. 280 yen for a bag. That's not bad at all. You'll find all sorts of stuff that you wouldn't find anywhere else here. I don't know why they have something that I've never seen in other places. But a Daifuku Kit Kat, strawberry Daifuku Kit Kat's pretty, that's pretty neat. Oh, I like this. Look at this shop. I can smell it, that's why, this is pretty amazing. I can smell it. Um, it's called Green Beans Parlor, and they're making, I guess, grilling coffee here. And you can get a, a, a cup of roasted coffee right here. It smells really nice. Let's take a quick look-see here. Maybe I'm gonna get a cup, because I could use it. You get a hot cup of coffee for 220 yen. That's a steal. All right, let's do this. はい、コーヒーお願いします。テイクアウェイ。あ、テイクアウェイ。はい。おお、今何やってます。ロート、ロート。わお。グリーンビーンからロート。すげえ。はい。わお。they're roasting the beans. Atatakai. <laughs>
。あ、ありがとうございます。あ、こっち、あっちです。はい。ありがとうございます。わあ、フレッシュリーローステッドコーヒー。あ、actually、I like my coffee black。But they put the lids on here. I'm just gonna drink it like this. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that is really, really good. This one's a little bit acidic. I don't know what exactly it is. It's not overly roasted. Everybody tells me that Starbucks over roasts the coffee. This is, um, it's a little bit bitter and a little bit acidic to it. You know, a little bit of acidic, it hits you in a different place on, in the back of your mouth. But it's waking me up real fast. I like this. Wow, let's ask where this coffee is from. Any guesses? Ah, so it's a non no coffee, this car. Do go a Brazil. Ah, I got a nice. This is a Brazilian coffee. So, for those that are asking here from Brazil. Ah, this is so good. I'm so happy. All right, from, from this point on now, it's time to really. We're gonna get some street food, okay? We're gonna try, anyways. I think, I think that that area where we were at was a little bit too touristy and it starts to narrow out over on this side.、Um, the market's pretty big. I would say it's like six city blocks. Maybe, but in between them is what we would call a shoten guy. You can see it's covered here, and that means if it's raining or not, you can still shop here pretty comfortably. Once you get here, you're in like the safe zone. But I'm, I'm enjoying a cup of coffee from this place called Green Beans Parlor. They're roasting, roasting coffee in there. It just smells incredible at this intersection. But just over there, you can see they have a, another fugu stand. I, again, fugu right now is in season. This is the high season for fugu. You're gonna find it everywhere. And fugu is pufferfish, and it's the one with poison in it that can, that's like 100 times stronger than cyanide. But. Oh, you can get one for. That's kind of pricey. There's a really big one on the corner there for $170. And then there's one down here for $72. They were a little bit cheaper at,、um, in Tokyo, but. This is the puffer fish、um, shirako, which is、uh, the sperm sack, which can be deep fried and eaten, and it's really creamy, or it can be eaten as sashimi, which is also, also quite good. Now, the puffer fish, puffer fish, it gets real big and like this, right? And you, I, I've seen it when I'm scuba diving down there underneath it. If they get threatened, they puff out. And when you're scuba diving, it's just like. It, It's just like the highway here. You're, you, you pass, you're passing all sorts of different fish under the water, and they're passing you, and you'll look at the fish, and they'll look at you, and it's a society down there under the ocean. Puffer fish are one of the people, now they're up here, you know, in a cellophane package, but puffer fish are part of the society of the sea, and they're just odd looking down there. That would be like the Harajuku cosplay. They're like cosplaying as something else, like a balloon down there. But I've seen them、uh, scuba diving, and it's funny when they pass me. Like, oh, they mind their own business, and I'm minding my own business scuba diving past them. It's pretty funny.、Um, and now you can come here and eat them for a thousand yen. But I'm good with that. That's the coffee stand right there. Wow. He said this was Brazilian. It's $2.20 yen for takeaway. And I have to say, that's a pretty good deal. It's a pretty good deal. Hey, Jonathan Lim's here. Street food. Hot moon. Hi, John. Merry Christmas. Here's to your coffee fun. Thank you. And Dazzling Dino Danucci. Your show. John, your show is my favorite of all time. I like that. Vincent Wong. Animated. Thank you, Vincent. Yeah. All right, we're just getting warmed up here.、Um, Actually, I got a late checkout at my hotel, so I have to leave here by 2, 2 p.m. And I'm gonna, I might stop in Kyoto, I'm not sure yet. But if I do, it'll be for another、uh, short live stream before I head back for Christmas.、Um, Kanai's waiting. She's working anyways, so I figure I'm gonna get to Tokyo Station the time she finishes work. And maybe we'll go out for, go out for some food or something. 
So Kodama Market has trash cans. This is one of the biggest problem with markets. Bring your own trash bag, like a, a, a plastic bag to throw your trash away if you go to markets because it's really hard to find them um, in Japan. But sometimes, every now and then, you'll find that they have these um, trash cans, public trash cans, but it's very rare to find. Just make sure that you, you bring your own. Uh, that's just some advice, I think. Just put one in your bag. Uh, let's look at this. Welcome to Kuromon Ichiba Market. It's known as Kuromon Ichiba, but Japanese will say Kuromon Ichiba. They don't say market. Ichiba means market, basically, in J Japanese. We have a, many items recommended as gifts. They really want you to shop here. Is an area recommended by the Osaka Government Tourist Bureau. That's an Asian gateway approved. They really like to say that they're recommended. But they also say that this is um, a local market, we're a local shop. So the question is, can you have it both ways? And the answer is, in a way, yes. Look ahead, this is where we just walked for those joining us. This is the entrance um, to the main part of Kuromo Market. You see the big red chochin, the, the uh, lantern up on the top. It says Kuro on the top, black, and then Mon, which is gate, underneath it. And the temple here, Kuromo, uh, the temple here burned down, and I guess that's when it came, I guess the, the gate was blackened, so they called it Black Gate. Sounds pretty cool. So this in English should be translated as Black Gate Market, which is, that's pretty cool. All right, I am so caffeinated up now. It's dangerous, just like riding a bicycle here. Don't ride bicycles inside there. All right, let's go. Say goodbye to the puffer fish. Nice knowing you. Now let's explore. What am I in the mood to eat? And I only have 10,000 notes, just so. <laughs> first person that I buy it from is going to be seriously inconvenienced unless I buy one of these, which is massive. Somebody wrote me that um, Japan buys a lot of the, the king snow crabs. Wow. So that's, that's like $80 for that tray right there. That's $80. What? Hey, Chris Dickerson. How do you know to trust the puffer fish is safe or not? That's a good question. You don't. But each chef that prepares it has to be licensed. And uh, accidents are rare, but when they happen, it's immediate, pretty much. There's very little pain, I heard. Well, there's a little bit of pain, but then it hits you quick because it's so strong. So if you get poisoned, don't worry, it'll be over fast. Squid rings. Squids are hollow inside, so. Smells good. I, I'm on the prowl here. On the other side, we have more street food being served. Look at this. Wow. They just like prepared all sorts of different salads and things like that. And there's some Oden up there. Oh man. All right, I gotta get from a, a shop that will take my 10,000 yen note. Oh wow. This is the best part. Look at that. These are tofu donuts. Tofu donuts. And these have uh, ice comes with, you can ask for ice cream on the side. That's incredible. Look at that. Oh man, that, would, that looks so delicious. Peanut butter, chocolate, strawberry. They come in all sorts of different flavors. That would be pretty rude to get a tofu donut and, all right, let's get one anyways. After the coffee, I'm in the mood for tofu donut. I want I want a tofu donut. Hey, I know tofu donuts. I say tonyu, tonyu donuts. We call them tonyu, not tofu, by the way. Tonyu is a uh, soy milk. はい。あ、これ私100円、ま、1万円持ってるけど、今100円あるからこれがいいですね。はい。<笑><笑> 
はいありがとうございますママ一緒前でかまサブこの店何年前作りました歴史あるでしょあ、そうですか。あの、あ、十何年。はい、ありがとうございます。So he's been making the shop's been there for just、um, about ten, a little bit over ten years. I don't hear any Japanese. Look at that lobster. Whoa, one lobster for about thirty-five dollars. And you can have it grilled over there. That guy's grilling it. I'm in the middle of chaos here. All right, let's try this. I'm just gonna get in this clearing. All right, we're gonna try something right there. Tonyu donuts. It's made from soy milk. Called Tonyu, and it's healthy, sort of. It's deep fried, which makes it not healthy, but it's Tonyu, so it seems healthy. Therefore, I can justify the healthiness of it. It's good. I wish I'd had it with the co Brazilian coffee from the shop before. You need some fresh uni for eight dollars, eight hundred yen. And some oysters for five dollars, five hundred yen. Look that way. <laughs> Of course, he's Instagramming it. <clears throat> I'm gonna go back a little bit. There's another shop here. There's an Instagram going on there. They're not from around here. So whatever you order, you can kind of. Oh, look at there's some puffer puffer fish. Let's go take a look here. By the way, right above us is a puffer fish. Look at that. That is so cool. That's better. The puffer fish fugu up there worshipped. I love it. If you want me to eat some more, let's see if we can get to 500 likes. That's our that's our challenge. I know you want it. I know I do too. You have to like it for me to do it. Let's do it. Some scallops in there. I've, I've discovered Street Food Central. So get away from the the intersection up there in your Namba, and then everything starts to open up here. Pretty good choice here. Wow. Pretty good selection. But you can see the uni there, and that's not ranked number one. <clears throat> Let me just get in here for a second. There's the uni, the spiked shell with the delicious meat inside. Not everybody likes it, but everybody should. Wow. They do it fresh. He ordered it, and now it's gutting it. That's pretty cool. They do it fresh here. Oh hey! Yeah, you are watching it. How you doing? Oh, I saw your mom yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Where is she? Oh, just there. Oh, cool. Yeah, thank you. Nice to meet you. Yesterday during the live stream, I saw his mom, but he showed me that he had the the I found you card. That's it's really cool. By the way, I do have some find me found me cards in my pocket. I prepared this morning, prepared for any 
any possible scenario, including eating some pufferfish and needing the antidote. So here's some here's some um, oysters and clams and uni, and they're sh just shelling it over there, getting out the good stuff. Looks like a scientist over there. Look at that, deep in thought. Yeah, so Chris, Dick Chris uh, Dickerson, to answer your question, you can ask the chef to show you his certificate that he is qualified to be a pufferfish chef. <coughs> they all pretty much display it at the entrance of the restaurant. But I'll, I'll, I'll be honest with you. Hey, <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Most of the pufferfish now are, are not caught out in the wild. And if they've been farmed, the pufferfish has been farmed, the poisons in them are almost non-existent. So even though you can't eat the eyes, you can't eat the ovaries, you can't eat certain parts of the pufferfish, um, even if you did eat the poison, it's it's so subdued and that's sort of something that they don't want to tell you. They are sort of have engineered it so you would not die now. But there's always these, the baby octopus on a stick. And that always makes you happy. All right, I'm gonna get something else here. I'm waiting for you guys. I can't believe we're so low. We're like at, at 280 likes and there's 830 people watching. This is ridiculous. Let's do it. I, I, I wanna get something to eat. It's up to you. It's a community thing. It's a community thing. Wow, this looks like a high-end street food thing going on here. Look at that, that's high-end street food. He looks like an artist, he's like painting putting all of the uni into the dish over there. Look at that. Very focused on it, making a, a very well, beautifully prepared dish for his customers. Um, the dish, you can see here, it's pretty reasonably priced, but as sushi, this uni is for, like $40, is a little bit, a little bit high up there. But you know it's gonna come so, oh yes, I've seen this before. The uni and the wagyu together. The sea meets, sea meets the land. Three pieces for 2,700 yen. Slightly pricey. Slightly pricey, but not bad. Slightly, slightly pricey. What do you think? Oh yeah, that's real smart. Come on, come over here and sit on a cactus. You want to, he's built a wall, an impenetrable wall of cacti, except right here we can enter in. Hi. Oh, go in aside. Say my son. He had a, no picture sign, but he's, he was smiling, so. <laughs> it's hard to know what to film and what not to film. The one thing at these markets is usually when you see the owner, um, you can make eye contact with them, and if they're smiling, then and they see that you have a camera, it's usually okay. So, uh, right there, he had a sign that said no filming, and I made eye contact with him, and he was smiling, and I said, ah. Um, but that was pretty funny. The cat's like, come and sit on the cactus. Like, cactus is very creative. Sense of humor is important in Osaka. Sense of humor is very important. That's right, Merry Christmas. It's Christmas Eve here in Japan, guys. You can feel the energy, the Christmas spirit. So right here on the corner, this is another intersection. Um, they have a kaisen don going on here. Maguro is a big part of these kaisen don because it's in the name of the shop. But let's see the let's see the prices. Yeah, it's a little bit pricey, but it looks like it's going to be pretty fresh because you know that. The turnover is really high at this restaurant. There's a lot of people eating it, so you know, things are gonna things are gonna be fresh at, at uh, this place. Oh, he's got um, he's got some um, is that aburi maguro? So he's making some maguro sushi here. 
He's making some uh, sushi here that you can just try. I guess he sells them so fast. <laughs> I like it though. The butcher shops here are doing what a friend of mine said that they should all do. You should cook the meat at the butcher shop and eat it at the butcher shop because nothing is more fresh than eating the meat from the butcher shop. So that's what they're doing. They sell the meat and then they cook it for you and then you can eat it. That's genius, right? Every butcher shop should do this. Every butcher shop should have a grill. And if, you, if you're just hungry, you can come in. Don't even make it fancy. Don't try to make it fancy. Just put a stool and a little table and just, and just say, okay, you want it grilled and, and the butcher can grill it. I mean, the butcher's, he's not always butching. He sometimes he's just sitting around, right? And then that's when you can do, sell stuff in your, uh... <coughs> oh, wow. That was nice. So she, the staff, she, they, they forgot their change and the staff brought the change for her, for them. She ran four shops to, to make sure that they got their change. Only in Japan. No, I think other countries would probably do that too. <laughs> I mean... Right, we're a little light on the likes here. 500, we're, we're 100 and, 130 away. 130 likes away from some food. It's up to you. Honest, honesty policy, yes. I think if you return, if you return it, you, you feel good about yourself and that's more than, than holding on to a couple hundred yen. Sometimes doing the right thing is, makes you feel really good. No, usually, I wouldn't say sometimes, usually. Here's a, a black ice cream cone. It's made from black sesame. It's very unique. Jimmy writes to get some beer. Jimmy, I, I had a lot of beer last night. Order here. Whenever they got gotcha pones, you know it's gonna be. Th that ice cream, it's not bad, but they have it in a cup that they push through into it. It's not, it's not the same as a fresh ice cream. I don't know. Oof. So I'm waiting for you guys to, uh, I'm just actually scouting the area before I go in and buy, but crab stick. 300 yen? That can't be real crab. <coughs> but I'll tell you what, the line is massive. All right, let's check it out. Wow, okay. You can get a crab stick here for 300 yen. That can't be real. Is that real crab? Well, you get a crab stick and a piece of meat. I guess I'll have to try this now. All right. It's a time sale. あ、<笑> あ、そうですか。ワギュですか。ワギュじゃないんですよ。アメリカ。え、えっと、オーストラリア。オーストラリア。ブタニクは。ブタニクは日本。日本ですか。あ、じゃあブタニク。ブタニクね。はい。あ
、九千のお返しと。あ、はい、ありがとうございます。あ、あのカニセットできますか？カニと、はい、それでセットで、はい、六百円。ごめんなさい。ごめんなさい、私が間違えた。はいはい、大丈夫大丈夫。ごめんなさい。はい、四百円。あ、はい、ありがとうございます。So the, the beef is from Australia, which is not a problem, and the crab is not exactly real, but we'll try it. It's interesting. Interesting. So we're, we're, we're getting closer. But smart. It's smart. David's right, it can be okay. They found a way to, to take the passions of this market and then make it affordable because the real stuff is overpriced, but the fake stuff is underpriced. That's funny. It's hilarious. It's hilarious, right? Totoro? Totoro's laughing. <laughs> But the beef is from Australia, but the pork is from Japan, so I got the pork. And there's also,、um, you can just get the crab as well,、um, but crab's from Japan. I'm waiting in line here. I'm still, we're still seven,、um, 70 away from 500. So, like, like John now, <laughs> Ronald Minch. Hey, Ronald, how are you? Um, some stores are closed today, but like that store. But not a lot of the stores are, most of the stores are open.、Um, the, Christmas Eve is not a holiday in Japan. Christmas Day is not a holiday in Japan. The 23rd used to be a holiday. It was the Emperor's birthday. That's why the 23rd was a holiday. And then I would have to work on, I would always work on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day because in Japan it's not a holiday. But、um, around the 27th of December, That's when all the shops start shutting down. All the offices will close and people start taking holiday. From the 27th to about January 3rd or 4th, things are pretty much closed, especially the first, second, and third. Supermarkets will be closed on the first for sure. Many shops are closed first, second, and third.、Um, and then pretty much business gets businesses back to normal in Japan around the 7th of January. But during Shogatsu, which is what the New Year's holiday is called, Shogatsu is closed a lot of things. Um, it's quiet time in Japan. Business workers, office workers have been working really hard all year. We'll take a break from that and go back to their hometowns. And I think that Japanese companies, Japanese want you to have this time with your family because even the bosses don't want to be working at this time. It's a time that not a lot of stuff happens in Japan. Actually, around this week, things start to really slow down. And,、um, It's hard to get any business done at all. If you have business meetings that are, are in the process, just pause it and everything will start around the 7th and 8th of January again. And that's where I am with them.、Um, this gimbal is broken, and the gimbal says to return it to DJI. And I got a number, but DJI said if you don't send it by the 25th, just send it after the 4th because nothing's going to happen. So there you go.、Um, shops are open on January 1st? No. I would say 99% are closed, and if, if convenience stores might be open, but some, even some convenience stores might close. Some. So, my advice to you, Dozo, my advice to you is to buy everything on the 31st because that's what everybody in Japan is doing. Oh, hello. Sorry, It's all right. Watch your video. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I might have something for you. Oh, <laughs> oh, not at all. Where are you from? Okay.、Yeah. You're visiting Osaka here? Yes, it's、yeah, yeah. our first time. We've been traveling from、uh, Tokyo. Okay. Before it's Tokyo, and now it's Osaka. Wow.、Yeah. Have, you, have you been eating any street food here? No, I just got here literally. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs>、yeah. Well, you can have some imitation crab and some Australian beef is here. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> you ask、no、where it's from, you say Australia. <laughs> <laughs> well,、anyway. thank you, though. You're welcome. You. Have a good time. How cool is that? Yes, that's right. 
I carry You Found Me cards. So they're from Australia and they just got here. And uh, the good thing about traveling from Australia is there's no jet lag involved. No jet lag. Popular stuff have a line. Everybody, every, there's no locals in this line too, by the way. Everyone's a tourist. It's funny. So again, it's a time sale that they're having. And they're selling now sticks of beef and pork. And uh, the beef is from Australia and the pork is from Japan. And the pork looks pretty good. So I got a stick of that with some crab. And I am a tourist. I'm in Kevin's cut. I'm in Kevin Riley's country. <laughs> when Kevin is the local, I'm the tourist. So I might live in Japan, but I, I spend a lot of time in Tokyo. So whenever I'm away from Tokyo, I'm a, I'm a tourist. Although I've been here dozens of times. I know a lot about Osaka. Like, I knew to come here. <laughs> the, the guidebook could tell you that. Oh, he's making yakisoba. This is a multi-talented shop. They're doing all sorts of activities here. They don't, they don't just make crab sticks. Oh no. Yeah, that's right, Nosh has it correct. We do not objectify people in the streams. And we don't really focus in on anybody unless they, they're okay with it because, um, yeah, there's, you can't snipe people's photos. But if you're in a public area, there, there's a lot of laws with regards to um, filming in public. You can't focus in on anybody. That's sort of the, the deal. It's inadvertently people will get in the shot. That's okay. If they ask you, then you, you should do it. But just be really careful and not focus in on somebody. That's sort of the rule. You can't publish it without people's permission if you've taken pictures. I remember I saw a Polish photographer, very, very nice guy, and he was just taking pictures with a tripod with a long, a long lens. And he said that he was doing it for a magazine, and I said, you, you can't do that. <laughs> you need to have a permission from each person before you publish it. And he didn't know about the law. I guess in other countries, if you're outside, there's certain laws, but in Japan, there are some laws to protect. True story. Looks like mentaiko. Better be worth it, Jimmy. Jimmy, it better be worth it. People get it and they walk away. I think tourists are fair game though. They're not from around here. Oh, he's, he's, look at the sauce on the yaki niku, or yaki soba there. I wouldn't call it free press, Dean. I think it's just people have a uh, certain right to privacy here. So just because you're in a public area doesn't mean that you can just film openly. You should have permission, especially if it's, in a, if it's not a public area. You, you need permission. That requires... Um, well, to publish it, right? If you do it for private, it's okay. It's always good to ask, I think. Yakisoba. You can objectify yakisoba all day long. That yakisoba has only one right to enter my stomach. So I ordered, the, I ordered this one. baby. This is a long line. <laughs> 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 
Oh, yakisoba is faster. So, his name is Butakani. Wow, and they got Hotate over there. The yakisoba looks pretty good. That's, that's 500 yen. I'm kind of, I'm sort of now regretting my decision. Wow, this is what you call a rush job. Torches are cool. Wow, time sale wa itsu made. Ah, goji made. Hi. All right, we're gonna find out if it's worth it or not. Follow that piece of crab and pork. What do you think, guys? It's steaming hot, it smells pretty good. It's got some sauce on it. He said the time sale is, is good until the end of the day. <laughs> I think it's always a time sale. I think, I think if you ask the questions, you get answers and sometimes you don't want to know the answer. The time sale is all day. And so is this stick. Is it worth it? You know, I think if you go to any festival in Japan, you're going to get the same kind of food. And it's cheaper than the festival by far. One stick would be 500 yen. So you get 600 plus the fake crab. Let's see. Mmm, that's really good. He put some salt on it. Mmm. Itadakimasu. I said it after already starting. Look at that thing. I know it's not real, but still. Wow. It tastes real. I can't believe it's not crab. <laughs> I can't believe it's not crab. It's really fake. Mmm. Check this out. I like this little alley and it takes you to a shop at the end of it. It does it just doesn't match with where we are. Look. Wow. Yeah, it's made from fish. Yeah, it's not real crab, but it's made from fish. So it's kind of real, but it's not. All right, let's go, let's get out of here. Wow. It, you know, sometimes you have to just kind of look off of the main track here. Look at the alleys. This is the market. Look at the alley with, with some uh, house plants and trees at the end of it. It's very interesting. 
Hey, Jedi Mac. John, let me cover some of that fake crappy for you. You, you definitely did. Thank you, Jedi Mac. <laughs> Big crab free meat brought to you by Jedi Mac. Follow the fake crab meat to the next destination. It's good. It was really, really good. All right. Um, so, oh wow, they got some tempura going on here. Oh, it says, look here. They got some tempura going on here. Wow, that's a deep fried crab stick. That's a deep fried crab stick. So what is my, what is my um, opinion of Kuromon Market? And what is your opinion of Kuromon Market? Do you think this is the place that you would like to go? Is this, should this be high on your destination list for going, uh, for visiting in Osaka? Leave a comment below and tell me what you think. I'm curious. I think you can eat really well, but hit the ATM before you come because it's a little pricey. We ate soy milk, tonyu donut, fake crab, beef. One of the things that you might want to try here is fugu. Puffer fish, you can you can try it without having to go to a restaurant and spend like fifty, sixty, seventy dollars. You can get that here for like ten dollars. Just try a little bit of it. I think that's kind of a that's kind of neat. Um, if you're worried that the puffer fish might have poison in it, you can ask to see the chef's credentials, and they will show it to you. And then you could you can uh, relax and go, oh okay, I won't die. But in general, in general you. Um, in general, fugu chefs, no, not in general, what am I saying? All fugu chefs have certification and have gone through training courses so you don't, because they have to because they're dealing with poison. <laughs> Hazardous materials. Yeah, they're dealing with hazardous materials. So, yeah, here's a fugu shop right here. And you can see the fugu. That's a lot of fugu. Maybe you're going to want to buy it from this shop if they're selling it. Are those farmed fugu? Are those farmed fugu? I'm not sure. It says from Nagasaki. From Nagasaki. The best fugu comes from Shimonoseki, which is down in the bottom of, of um, Yamaguchi Prefecture. And Oita, because of the Bongo Straits there, the currents are pretty strong, so the the fugu have a good flavor to them. So I've been told. But Shimonoseki has the auction for the fugu and that has always been really highly recommended. Um, so Shimonoseki would be the capital of, of puffer fish or fugu, not Tokyo or Osaka, but that doesn't mean it's, it's not gonna be really good. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this live stream. We had a lot of fun. Um, I'm full, I ate so much yesterday. Oh, that was a really good breakfast. Once again, hit that like button if you like these market runs. And then we'll be sure to, to take you around some more. 
Oh, look at the octopus. Baby octopi on a stick. $5 for one. I believe they put a quail's egg in the head. So before they boil them, I, I found out the secret. Oh, that's mentaiko. That's, or is it? Or is it? Yeah, no, it's salmon. Those are some long strips of salmon. I thought that was mentaiko from the color. Wow. This part of the market's a little bit pricey. All right, back to Tokyo I go. Merry Christmas, everybody. I'll see you in another live stream for sure as we have our live streaming Christmas coming to an end. <laughs> it's the holidays. Traveling is so much fun. Uh, so leave me a comment below, as I said, and I'll see you again okay, real soon. Hey, look at those socks. Gotta get Kanai a present. Bye, guys.